Seattle, Washington, home to renowned franchises, present and past, from the Seahawks to the Supersonics. But there is a cornerstone program in this city. It is the Huskies of UW. They've always had a place here, a place of excellence that these fans hope will continue today. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Washington Huskies. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game. and get started. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Michigan's offense takes the field. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third. Scanning the field. It's Orgy. The sweet feet by a little time. Still running at the 40. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. And the Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. Skips away from pressure. Going to try to get it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He'll set up to throw. A little screen to the running back. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. The Wolverines are rolling down the field. The give on the counter. Nice move to keep running. Breaks the tackle. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They'll run this play from the pistol. Looking for room, it's Edwards. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with the pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flat. Off play action. Steps away. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. And how about this guy upholding that linebacker tradition of a Shaq Thompson or a Mason Foster? Hey, you think about those guys that can do a little bit of everything. They, they can play their run and be physical, but they have the athletic ability to play in coverage. Just versatile defenders. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but they'll have to convert third and long to keep it going. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He'll pull it down. That's a 20. He's got space. They finally make the stop, and he shows why he is dangerous on the one, two, and he's got a first down. He's going to pass. He's got it and still on his feet. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Going to work on second down in the red zone, and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They're going back to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Wants to throw. It's Orgy. Moving out of the pocket. A 
and he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan! This defense has their hands full in this game because of what you saw right there. This quarterback is one of the fastest players in the entire country, and he runs one in. They're going to have to do a better job getting hats to him because they know they're going to see the QB run a lot today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So the Washington Huskies offense will go to work for the first time. And if these two guys wind up getting matched up, David, we'll see what wins, speed or force. Yeah, and you love to be physical and set the tone, and this linebacker does that consistently. Now, Jesse, keeping up with the speed on the other side, that's a different animal. It might be different, but we're going to see this receiver work underneath on some drag routes. You better be careful. You do not want to get caught in the wash against this linebacker. The Huskies want to pick up the tempo. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Using his legs, it's Coleman. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. His first one of the day gave that leg a workout five times in last week's victory. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. If you like old-fashioned, grinded up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Just enough there to get it to the 25 and pick up a two. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Back to throw. It's Orgy. They're trying to get to it. What about doing what he does best? He can move. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this is an offense that's going to find a way to generate explosive plays because of their playmakers and the skill spots. But how about the speed by this guy and his ability on third down to extend, scramble, and go get a big pickup in chunky yards for his offense? Hines is tight end. Makes the catch and knock down. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to him. Trying to make magic with his feet. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Wolverines look to keep this drive humming. Using his legs, it's Edwards. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary.
swing in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. They'll go right back to the run. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It's reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. And guys, they've come through on the first two third-down tries. This one might be a little tougher. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Using his feet to buy time. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And the Wolverines look to do some damage in the red zone. Quarterback on the keeper. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. I mean, they're about to run out of place. 12th play of the drive coming up. Leaves it with the running back. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback adapting and couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. No good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. He's got it again. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They'll mark him down right there, and that'll be enough for a Washington first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They move the tight end all over. Going to the ground. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Give to the back. At the 40, there he goes. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Well, that's a really good looking run, too. And when you think back to Washington football, we talk a lot about the quarterbacks they've had, these great aerial assaults, but they've always needed to have balance as well. You get that by running the football, and this guy really helps keep defenses honest because they don't know what's coming at them. With a weapon like him in the backfield, he really makes this offense go. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. To the air, it's Rodgers. Looking left. He's got it. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Husky. And I love the wheel run. I love calling it because most of the time, I'm going to get my running back who's a fast athlete in space against a linebacker or somebody who can't catch him. Nice play design. Nice job throwing it out in front of him. He does the rest. Gets in for the touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. For the 
bangs it through for an extra point. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Top five teams duking it out right now, man, and check this out. Texas A&M is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Johnny Manziel, and they are right back in this. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Missouri. We've got you covered in this gigantic top five matchup, fellas. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. They'll line up for a second down play. The give to the back. Dragged down at the 46 after a pickup of five and the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Morgan. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Running it to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. The Wolverines are marching down the field. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. The clock has stopped and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. To the air, it's Orgy. Looking to buy time. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties. As they... And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Touchdown, Wolverines. The defense with the scoop and score. What a play by the defense there. Loose football, country fumble, pick it up with room, scoop, and score. No doubt, country versus city. When it's a country fumble, nobody around. I got to pick that puppy up and do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up, making a play. He'll try to tack on the one more. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. 
create some momentum, cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive. And they got him for the sack. And anytime you hit the quarterback, man, you make him think, you speed up the processor a little bit, and that's the third on the day. This is a unit, actually, that does a good job of that. They're in the top 25 in the country at getting the quarterback on the ground. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the pass. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. From the gun, running back on the move. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Line gets set, first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the right. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. After the misfire, now on second down. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Buying some time. Turns it on in midfield. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Second down coming up. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Unloads to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking to throw. Gets rid of it. Caught near the sticks. It's Morgan. And he's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan! No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great scene today in Seattle. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's head back to the gorgeous Pacific Northwest and the fellas at UW. And the Wolverines will boot it away to start the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Looking for a man, it's Rodgers. 
after giving up that score. Now, and the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. What a great play. This guy is a force on this D-line. You think about Michigan football defensively, they've got dudes up front. Aiden Hutchinson, Brandon Graham, Mozzie Smith, Rashawn Gary. Guys that can win one-on-one -on -one and guys that change and force your game plan to have to adapt for them. You need to double team these guys if you want to have any chance. This is that type of player. He's got so much ability. He's going to pass on second down. Fires to the big fella. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking deep down the right side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Washington sends out the punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He gets a block. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They'll crank up this drive with a pass. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. And now on second down for this offense. The give to the right. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Been showing them the run, now they'll throw it. Fires deep toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. here, second and 10 from the 36. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Wolverines are flying down the field. He'll do it himself. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. A first down run on the doorstep. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the punishment has been extended. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he did make that extra point, no issue with the treacherous footing. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Game of the day, guys. Arguably the game of the season, and we've got an update. Texas A&M is down, but they are not out of it. Not there in Kyle Field, one of the more special places to watch a game in all of college football. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Missouri. We will circle back if anything big happens in this top five matchup you need to know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. On target. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. He'll come out throwing on first down. 
It's complete. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Gonna run it. It's Coleman. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. They'll try to get it through the air. He's got it. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Third down and short is exactly what you want in offense because you can run the football, make the defense suck up, but you can also throw it. Nice execution, third and short, now set up. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Huskies! Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. Looking for the two-point try. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. Got his man out of the backfield. He stopped short of the goal line, and they are unable to get the two and cut this to a two-possession game. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee, and they'll bring it to the 25. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. They'll go to the ground. Got room at the 35. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain. And they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. Might as well give it to him again. At the 45 on his way. He's piled up 97 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's the way, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. A really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Michigan! And the stomping has commenced. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Lost one deep down the right side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. He's getting plenty of work. Fourth time we've seen this guy punt it today. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Looking for space. It's Edwards. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quarterback extends the play. When you've been around like this guy has, you know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. And the Wolverines getting set on first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They go right back to him. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. He now has 106 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. Caught in the backfield. It's Marshall. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And it comes as absolutely no surprise. The offense will stay on the field and go for it on fourth and inches. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. And first down for the offense. They're going to ride this running back. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Wide out in motion. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They want to continue this long drive. Ninth play coming. It's third and five. Trying play action. Looking to scramble. He'll try to do it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. They are getting deep into the playbook. 11th play of the drive. They go to the ground. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. And the Wolverines are threatening on first and goal. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. And the beatdown has ensued. That score will give them a little more room to operate here in the fourth quarter as they go for their sixth straight win. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return and thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Jackson. They get him down after he makes the catch. Third 
down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. It's caught. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throwing catch. Now it's second and goal. He's going to the right looking for a path to the end zone. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. And here they come to give it another shot on third and goal from the three. Let's it fly. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. This game is almost certainly decided already, but the good news is for the next game, guys still flying around, still playing hard, not really hanging their heads. Long season. This is early in the season. Still got plenty of time. Still find out which plays you like, which you don't, and, and keep running them, keep getting better at them. So use this as practice. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And it's up and good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Houston went into hostile territory and came away with a convincing victory. The Cougars always seem to get everyone's best punch, but today they were the ones who delivered the knockout. It's one game you don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll run it again. Shakes off the tackler. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. On the ground, it's Edwards. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Brings up second down. Going to the running game. Sweet feet on the move. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. And that's a first down for the offense. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Here's the handoff. At the 35, he's loose. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. Mate. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The gift to the back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedaled to the metal right from the opening kickoff. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide it. Just frying pan meet face, ball game over.
That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.